Hi, this is Jana from Mitra and today we'll talk about internships. Doing an internship in Germany is a great way to get your foot into the door of, you know, companies in Germany, no matter whether you are still already a student here or whether you are a student abroad and, you know, looking for jobs here, I think doing an internship is a great thing to do. Um, but of course, many of you will be asking themselves, how much am I actually going to earn if I do an internship? Because, you know, money matters, right? You have to make a living somehow. And that's a question I'm trying to answer today. Um, let me say, first of all, um, I think uh, a question you have to answer if you want to ask, answer the question how much salary you're going to get is, first of all, you have to look at whether it's a mandatory or a voluntary internship. And I know there's a lot of confusion about that. Often people ask me, you know, why does this actually matter? It matters because there are particular laws in Germany defining whether a company has to pay a minimum wage or not. Um, so this really depends on the whole framework of your internship. And if the company has to pay you a minimum wage, you know how much you're going to get. But let me explain this a bit more in detail. If you are doing a mandatory internship, uh, the company does not have to pay you minimum wage. A mandatory internship is an internship which is part of a study program you are in. So this means um, the guidelines um, of your study programs have to say that, you know, to complete this program, you have to do an internship of a particular amount of time with a company or an organization in Germany or abroad. If this is the case, if you can prove this, um, then the company has to pay you less or nothing at all. That's a matter of decision. Um, from my experience, I can say that there are a lot of companies who will pay you something anyways if you're doing a mandatory internship, but this is why they are asking about this um, when you're applying for internships. And in some internship ads, it even says that, you know, it has to do, it has to be a mandatory internship. Um, this is just one thing. If you're doing a voluntary internship, um, what really matters is the length of the internship. If you are doing an internship of less than three months, um, this means that the company also doesn't have to pay you any minim uh, a minimum wage. Um, but uh, from my experience, you will hardly find any internships which are you know, shorter than three months. Um, usually, I think um, internships here do last about six months because the company also has to invest time to get you on board. And you know, then by the time they have you on board, you're already leaving if you're doing an internship of uh, three months. So it doesn't really work for them um, unless you have you know, a really particular task to fulfill or if you have already worked for them before. Um, if you are doing an internship which lasts longer than three months, the company has to pay you minimum wage. So as of 2020, the minimum wage was, I think, €9.35 Euro per hour, may increase in the next years. Um, this has been the case in the past. So this sums up to approximately €1,500 um, gross salary. Um, of course, after deductions, um, the money you will actually earn will be a bit less, but this really depends on your framework. Um, for that, you can check, my, check out my video on salary calculation. Um, so you see, um, that's where the difference lies, and that's why company, uh, companies are asking whether it's a voluntary or a mandatory internship which you're doing. Um, however, if you're looking at statistics, um, you can also still earn money if you're doing a mandatory internship. In that case, it really depends, of course, on the company size, the policies, it's, it follows. Um, some companies don't differentiate and will pay you the minimum wage anyways. Um, some companies do differentiate and um, will still pay you some money. Um, and from my experience, the sum can be, you know, is very high um, if you're doing a consulting internship. I've seen often seen um, cases where they will anyways pay you 1,500 euros. Um, 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 but if you're working in HR or marketing or maybe also more of a social environment, I have also seen cases where people earn, I don't know, 700, 800 euros um, as an internship salary. Um, of course, there are also companies which will try not to pay you at all, but from my perspective, you should be paid something for your work, right? Um, so it's a matter of negotiation from your side. Uh, but just to explain the baseline to you, um, 
if you do a voluntary internship, which is longer than three months, the company has to pay you uh, 1,500 euros gross salary minimum. Um, and uh, that's um, something which may also be a limiting factor if you're looking for internships. However, um, it also depends on the city um, you're targeting because in some cities, the cost of living is really high. So you need this amount of money um, to survive anyways, or maybe a bit of a smaller amount, but you know, in cities like Munich, I know that a lot of companies are paying this amount um, because you have to make a living somehow. And that's also why the minimum wage was introduced um, to make sure that people can actually live um, off the money they are making. Yeah, so that was it. I hope this answered your question. Leave me questions and um, your feedback in the comment sections. I'll be happy to answer them.